Oh, what's going on, guys? Jimmy! What's up, Twitch chat? Um, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on right now. I think I'm, I am in the right server, finally. Like, I, I just woke up not long ago. I thought this match wasn't for another hour, and apparently it's now. Uh, so, yeah. I'm kind of scrambling a bit. I'm not really uh, as prepared as I normally am, but uh, we'll do our best. And there's, like... <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Like, there's this, this SSM match is at the same time, and like both of these matches are saying they're in this fucking server. So, I uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see which team ends up getting 
the server, I guess, or something. Well, <laughs> well, Josh, uh, I don't want to tell you. Uh, I think Shots did a good job. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was his first time casting, so <clears throat> you got to give him. Uh, you got to give him a bit of a break there. I thought uh, for his first time casting, he did a really good job. I have been casting for quite a long time, so. All people are going to be uh, casting a bit differently. There's like no league admins around and there's there's like this clusterfuck going on right now where both of these matches are, are like trying to use the same server right now. And uh, like we're waiting to get some sort of... Uh, resolution here or something I do I do suck you're right I <laughs> should ask talks yeah He's nowhere to be seen. Uh, JP is the only one who's kind of helping, and I don't even know if he's a league admin. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I don't know what's going on. Both uh, teams are trying to use the same server right now. I know for this match, uh, it is two different servers being used. But this is, we're in IP7, I believe, right now for first map, and... Uh, Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I got it, Danger Boy. That's the server I'm in, man. And as you can see, there's members of uh, SSM in here. Was it a different port? What the bloody hell is going on? Let me try this. Uh, what? Rejected by server. Rejected by server. Yeah. Everything's looking real organized today, I gotta say. Checking Discord again. <laughs> Indeed, Jimmy, but it is not my fault. I'm not the one who's uh, organizing the servers. All right, I think we've, we're, we've finally got it figured out. This was like the same IP with a different port or something? I don't know. But I think we are finally in the right server, at the very least. And by the way, immediately after this match... Um, I'm gonna be casting... Uh, Division 1 IFS uh, against Deadline. So that will be right after this. So after, uh, after this match ends... I'll be taking down the stream just for a second, just so I can get separate VODs. 
and then it'll come right back up and we'll do uh, IFS deadline. It's been a total scramble though, I tell you. I thought this, I thought, well first of all I didn't plan on ca casting this uh, X4 match at all. Um, and then Lewis asked me if I could, so I guess they were trying to get everything casted today. So I agreed, and for some reason I thought he was casting with me, but he isn't. And then I also thought this match wasn't starting for like another hour. So I kind of like just got up not long ago, I haven't ate or anything, and uh, yeah. I'm kind of hungover, so we'll see how this goes. Turn on this music a little bit. <clears throat> so we're just waiting on the teams now. I'm kind of hoping these guys will get started relatively on time here. Because the, uh, like I said, the IFS match that I'm casting is in an hour from now, so... If this ends up going to uh, a decider map or something like that, hopefully uh, IFS and Deadline will wait for me to finish because that was the main match I wanted to cast this week. So I'm kind of casting this one to help out the admin. So I hope uh, Deadline and IFS will wait a few minutes for me to finish this. Oh, the SB Grim stuff is coming into the Twitch chat. Look at that. What's up, Hev? Beer for breakfast. That's right, Jimmy. Not this time, though. That didn't work out too well yesterday. It's just going to be nothing. Nothing for breakfast. Who is Impex? Is that bad? It's bad, I'm assuming, right? So, Unreal, Bad, Tolo, Anaconda, and good old Senator. X4 has a good team. So does DMK, though. Yeah, Naru, you might be right, actually. DMK has a nice looking lineup, but they haven't looked that great, to be honest, so far. Could you do that for me, Jimmy? <laughs> well, I, I mean, I don't need the naked parts, but uh, I mean, if that's the only way I can get pancakes, I guess I'll, I'll have to agree. Trying to speed them up here. We are tight on time. Hello, Miss Brenda. No, no, the offer was only for me, Grim. Jimmy only offered the pancakes to me. You can't get in on that. Brenda, an excellent theme here to support her DMK counterpart friends. It's always nice to see. Good theme she is. <laughs> Lost your pants? Well, we did get pretty gummy last night, Jim, so I don't blame you. Jim, when I got home last night, I, uh... <laughs> I was still kind of, you know, out of it. So I just started playing uh, Call of Duty, the zombie stuff, and uh, by the time uh, I got out of it, uh, it was magically past 5 in the morning, so yeah, that didn't work out too well. Go DMK, says Miss Brenda. Yes, Jimmy, I was trying, I was practicing, I wanted to level up the, um, 
the Krig 6. I really like that uh, gun, man. It's very similar to the AK, but it's a lot more accurate, and it's it scopes in a lot quicker, which I really like. So I definitely uh, am looking forward to trying that in League mode. That gun felt really good. Come on, God! Yes, brick fucking wall. Didn't mean to hit it, but there you go. Yeah, the crate, it felt really good. Have you tried it before? I, I really liked it because, like, I'm, I'm so comfortable with the AK and it, like, as an overall, like, it, it felt so similar to the AK, but just better. Like, I love how it scopes in quicker. Like, that's so key. And it just felt like it's, uh... It's more accurate. There's less recoil than the AK. Alright, countdown's on. We're finally going to be underway here. We will start it off with Mr. Promises. And off we go. Ah, uh, Rasta, that's, that's, that's pr pretty close to accurate. <laughs> Not naked, but I just got up, I'm hungover, so I I wasn't really prepared to cast uh, at this time, so no cam today, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm loafing out, man. Let's check out who, I'm assuming the defense for uh, X4 is going to be Unreal and uh, probably Anaconda. Let's see what Anaconda's doing. Where are you, Mr. Anaconda? There he is. And he's... Does get a kill on a pale face there, and it does look like he is on D. Uh, yes, on the right side. So, Anaconda, Unreal on D. And for DMK, it's going to be Roomba and Mr. Yo. So, I think that's pretty good looking defenses uh, on both sides. I think both these teams on paper are quite even, actually. It should be quite a close match. Just watch pale face trying to leave straight out low here. Can't get past Bat, though. Little try, Senator. First grab of the game for him. Nice shot on a Roomba. Trying to leave it on the right side. Ah, oh, Roomba getting the new CTF spawn right in his face. Feels bad, man. They are the true words, Rasta. No question. No question about that. Look at Senator grabbing. He's changing his style. He usually just plays more of a, a mid shoot everything in the back mode, but he seems to be just straight up attacking at the moment, so that's good to see. Third attacker, Bat does not have any grab actually is let me uh, see what bat's doing actually because i want to double check bat's actually on d wait so is unreal attacking surely not wait is x4 playing 3d i think they're playing 3d as we watch promises he's actually made it left mid and tolo is gonna return i think x4 is playing 3d Bat, Anaconda, and Unreal, I think, are all on base D. That's... Oof, man. But we're going to watch center. He's actually left mid. He picks up a boost right here. And he's going to base through the main side. One auto right now. That's Nuko. Dies, though. And Senator is going to score that. Oh, that's got to feel bad for DMK. As X4 has been playing three base D from the get-go. And they have a cap. So that is uh, not good. For DMK at all. Like, unless I just misread it, but it sure looked that way. Because, yeah, like, Anaconda was playing on the right side D. Let's try to my Twitch chat. Promises just got boosted to his base on the right side. Looks like they're going to tie the game right here. I totally missed that run. As I was ready to twist that, but that's okay. Look at that DMK. They brought it right back. Nice job by them right there. And they're back in it. I need to figure out what's going on. What, I, I gotta go back to Unreal. Wait, so now Unreal is attacking. What the fuck? He doesn't have any grabs. Do you see? He's falling back. And now he's sitting in his base. Yeah, I mean, it, it, 
I guess every once in a blue moon he's gonna go to the GMK base, but yeah, it's this is definite three D coming out of uh, X four. And DMK being the the good straight up fellows that they are are not doing that. They're running three attacks, so props to DMK. Not doing the uh, super lame three base D from the get go strat. What is Senator up to? It Senator's actually up to seven grabs, and it is Paleface with six second in the server in that department right there. Yeah, Pale can play pretty dirty too. You're right, but. I mean, if you look at a pale, actually, uh, he's leading his team in grabs right now, and we'll switch to him. So, in this particular case, uh, he's not playing that way. He's just straight up attacking. Good to see. He tried to leave a left there. Senator was there on the fallback. So, 15 minutes left to go. We're five minutes in. One cap apiece at the moment. The D numbers for DMK looking pretty decent. Yo's at 50, 58 now. Efficiency with those 27 frags. We watch Pale's face pick, pick up a sneak grab. He did have two cover there waiting for him. They, they, they couldn't even pick it up though. And Stuko was there, but he was unable to pick up that flag. Impex is the old Batterino. And he is on defense along with Unreal and Anaconda. It's only Senator and Tolo on attack for uh, X4. It's really only been Senator of all people who's been grabbing. He's got nine. Tolo only has the four. This is totally weird. Usually it's Senator who basically doesn't grab at all for this team. And this time they're they're playing 3D and leaving it to Senator to do all the grabbings. Interesting. Interesting stuff indeed. Let's watch Nan Stuko now attacking in through the high right side. He's gonna have many to contend with and uh, not gonna make it into the base right here. Really, Naru? I guess he switches it up. Like a, a lot of, like most of the matches in previous seasons that I've casted of X4, it's been mainly like Senator's been more of like a mid guy from what I've seen. But there has been like the occasional map where he'll randomly be grabbing a lot. So I don't know. Yeah, they will definitely have less O power without Naru. Uh, no question, but perhaps uh, Sender's trying to fill the Naru role uh, this season since Naru's not there with uh, the grabbing. And we're watching Sender right now. Oh, he nearly made it out high right. It's, it's just at the edge there. Tolo actually did pick that up and he jumped into his low right here. Tolo, where's that single? He just died. Returned by Anaconda. He's got one onto him. Ruba. Ruba does pick up a kill right there. Anaconda through Ruba. Ruba, Ruba, Ruba. Ruba. That's a brick fucking wall save out of the Roomba right there. You saw Roomba coming in low. Senator couldn't hit him. Roomba picked up the double kill. It's a massive save out of the brick walling Roomba. And it remains 1-1 right there. Nice job out of Roomba. He was the only one who had a chance to save it. And he uh, did just that right there. And we're watching Tolo. He's just bringing it right back into his base low. And this time there's no Roomba. And this time, it is capped, and X4's got that lead back. Rare, where, rear, thanks for the follow, man. All those shots, out of the Tolo? I don't know, man. Oh, you're talking about that. That is, uh, I should have actually turned that off for uh, this, the cast, I forgot. That's an IG Plus setting, it's like SSR ring type or some shit. It basically takes away the, um, like the ring of the IG rifle connecting. So that's why it uh, looks like it's just kind of going through them like that. Nan Stuko gonna grab now, picks up uh, an ultra kill on the grab right here. But uh, can't make it very far this time. Let's have a quick look at the stats once more. Senator leading still. 13 grabs in the cap. Tolo, we just saw him cap. He's up to 6 grabs now. And that is the only 2 grabbers for uh, X4. So, despite the, the fact that we all hate the 3D, it's working out for X4. 
here at the moment is pale face trying to answer for dmk right now he's got a one-on-one -on -one right here make it a three-on-one he doesn't get one of them and it kind of gets two can't get the third one though tolo was there it is going to be super sweaty now no question still 11 minutes left to go here on klondike though and by the way if you're interested on what the map order just type exclamation point maps into the twitch chat and uh you will get that information right there for you. So given that X4 has uh, been playing 3D and DMK is down, at some point they're going to have to consider that 4 attack to get back into it. I do believe it's too early to do that right now, though. Um, I mean, we did see Tox's team do it with 10 minutes left, but I don't think DMK is going to do that. Um, not yet, anyway. I'm sure as uh, maybe if it gets down to around the four minute mark, they'll uh, perhaps do that if the score is still the same as watch center. Trying to make it up high right here. And Stuko, what's there? Oh, Tolo picked up a kill. He might pick that up. No, he didn't. Tolo did kill uh, the member up there of DMK. It looks like he might pick it up high, but there was one more to take him down, so it didn't happen. And Stuko appears to have snuck in for a moment. Grabs briefly. He is going to die. What is Nance Tuko up to and grabs 9? Paleface with 12. Really nice grabbing, actually, on DMK. Promises only has 5, but... Um, that's a good amount of grabbing, considering they're running into 3 base D, so... DMK, I feel like, is still in it, surely. Promises, nice multi. Nearly out of the flag room, but uh, the multi was not enough. Tolo now trying to do the same thing. Can't do it, Nance Tuko. Everyone's just dying, trying to make it up that first ramp right now. A lot of grabbing right here. Why no Benno and Watercater? Is Watercater on this DMK team this season? I I, would, I guess he has to be, right? He normally is. But I don't believe he's played yet. Yeah, I guess you're not allowed to play with 7. Unfortunately, they cannot do a 7 on 5. So everyone gets some playing time. Or perhaps it's uh, this is the lineup they feel is their strongest for Klondike. As this was X Force map pick, by the way. And Tolo trying to make it up uh, low mid once more. Promise it's there this time. Not going to make it. And remember, second map uh, is Klondike, or not Klondike, Command. And I think that's going to be. I think uh, DMK is going to be glad they picked that because uh, seeing that X Force is playing a 3D. Uh, that doesn't work too well in Command, so I think they're going to be pretty happy that they did pick Command. Uh, I don't think X4 is going to be able to do that on that map, so... In any case, eight and a half minutes left to go here for DMK to try to bring it back. Let's check in with, uh, good old Pale. Let's watch some Pale Face. He's got his piano with him. Here he comes. Oh, nice shot on Anaconda on the entry right here. See if he picks up a grab. He does. Thinking about going straight low. He's going to switch it up to the left side. Through connector. He's going to be killed by Unreal. And the return comes in. Just a little try to pale right there. Hellface is in here with Promises right now. See if he calls Promises to come his way. And looks like Promises tried to come to that side. Oh, I thought Pale had stuck in, but apparently Anaconda knew he was there somehow. Uh, Pale, he's made it up the ramp. He's got Nance Stuckel here with him. Trying to leave it high. Nice shot on the bat. They made it a high mid right here. One way to the side center, but he dropped into his low. Oh, Senator dropped. He got that kill and a big return on him. Ultra kill on his Senator there. That's a big return out of him. It looks surely like DMK was in position to tie the game right there. That was a nice try to pale face. Couldn't quite convert that one though. Let's have another quick check on the D numbers. After we watch Tolo, who's trying to leave out on this right side here. Did pick up a cover out of uh, Senator right there. They're on the right side. Megan be killed twice by Promises. Returned by Yo. And so Yo has 54 efficiency and 69 frags. His D partner Roomba 52 at 57. On the frag, so decent uh, D numbers, not horrible. They're both over 50 F, uh, and the same can be said for the three defenders of uh, of uh, X4 right there. So six and a half minutes left to go for DMK. You see, even Tolo here, he's even uh, make sure his base is clear before he leaves. It's sitting in mid a bit, so as time is ticking away, it's uh, becoming a bit harder. 
And when is going to be that point when DMK pushes up four attackers? And who will it be? Yo or Roomba? I would guess it would be uh, Yo who will be the one who will go as that fourth attacker. And we'll see if that ends up being the case. And when they do it... So you see Tolo coming in through low here. Yo was there though. comes Tolo. He's going to go through connectors to the left side. Roomba did spawn there, though. And he's going to pick up an easy frag on that return. So Tolo and uh, Sender are still keeping pressure on, and they need to. As DMK is going to start to feel a bit desperate to get into their cap here. Tolo is going to think about going high here, and he does. He's going to make it a high left mid. You see Pale on the other side, on the left side mid there. It's going to be dropped. It's not going to be returned. Both legs down at the moment. Anaconda did pick that up. Roomba 2. Nesuko has it now. Oh, Nesuko died. Multi kill on a bat right there. Roomba has the flag now into the right side. Oh, Yo returned the flag. Massive return on Yo. Can they cap this thing? Oh, they can. That's a massive cap by Roomba. Excellent teamwork on those pickups by DMK. And they're back in it. They've tied the game. DMK has done it. They've broken through that 3D. And the game is now tied 2-2. Nice job. That was frantic stuff right there. Both flags were in the enemy bases. And Yo managed to pick up a return on his flag there. And that's uh, clutch stuff out of him right there. And the pickup train came through for DMK. And they're able to chain that through into their base on the right side. And uh, they end up getting the capsule. That's a big time play for DMK. No question. Four and a half minutes left to play now. And DMK has to feel good about that one. That is for sure. Here comes Tolo. He's trying to go through connection. I get every time he does this, someone spawns on him. And it is Roomba again. And he's got a one-on-one -on -one with him. And he does have Senator. He just picked up a double kill cover. He's got two more on him. Oh, just kill Paleface. It's going to be laying right there. And returned by Bat, that flag was, and actually at the end of that, both flags got returned. That was like, that was real close for X4 to take the lead back. Real close play right there, we just saw it. And Senator Tolo are uh, working well together as the only two attackers. We're watching Asugu, he's going to try to make it up right mid. Picks up a little boost right there. Oh, Roomba trying to cover him. It's going to be laying in mid. Paleface picks it up. It's a massive pickup. One waiting for him. Tolo's in their base right there. He's calling it out. Can they seal off? There's another one coming in through low. They kill Senator and there's a big double kill on promises. And he's going to score it in DMK. They've got the lead. Their first lead of the game. Coming late. Only three minutes left. And nice seal off by DMK right there. You saw two members of X4 into that flag room at DMK and they were able to seal it off just in time as Brickwall thanks for the follow <laughs> welcome to the stream and this is a nice job by DMK they've brought it back and they're in the lead now and let's see what they do if they're going to play a bit more defensive now they're going to want to keep O pressure on for sure as I guarantee you X4 is no longer playing 3 base D I think this will be the first time when they are not as we watch it looks like Bad perhaps is on solo D it looks like he is so, X4 is in fact running 4 attack right now. Bad is on solo D, so we'll see how this works out. 4 X4 right now. <laughs> they need Grim. I guess, I suppose, maybe they do. Perhaps they do. Well, we'll see if Team K can hang on. They got 2.5 minutes left to try to hang on to this uh, first lead that they have. And I do feel they need to get some pressure on with bad solo D. As we're watching Atolo, he's going to switch it up to high. He's got Senator here with him. They're going to make it a high mid. He does make a call to Nanstuko. Key cut off. But Senator was there. He picked it up. It's going to be laying there. You see Roomba did get that big return right there. But as I was saying, bad is on solo D and you need to be counter grabbing if someone's running for attack to make their team fall back. That's your best way to counter is watch Pale do just that. He's going to drop it down. It was low right there and was picked up briefly by Roomba but Senator is going to get that return. And that was a nice try by DMK. If they could convert one more cap here, that they'd feel a lot more comfortable. That is for sure. Tolo, he's got two cover here with him, but he's going to double back for some reason. Leave his cover. Now he's going to come out onto that right side. Going to be killed by Roomba. Roomba on the multi. Nice job by Roomba right there. Clears out all three of them and picks up that return. A minute and a half left to go right here. DMK trying to hang on to this 3-2 advantage that they do have right now. Look at Senator up to 20 grabs. Paleface uh, near 20 as well. 
nice uh, lot of grabbing that we've had right here. Here comes Promises now. And I like what he's doing here. He's going to try to buy some time. Tolo knew where he's juking, though. Uh, yeah. Tolo knew somehow, and uh, he got him right there. So, one minute left. Here comes Promises. Yet another grab. Tolo has one, too. He's going to stall at the top of the ramp. See if he gets found. And this is a good way to buy some time. Oh, bats on, but you can kill him. They made it on high mid. They're going to drop it. Oh, nice little boost on a Nance Duco right there. And they love this. will seal the deal for DMK if they can cap it. And they do. And DMK, what a run out of promises. And that was a nice little boost on a Nance Duco from high to low right there. And that's going to seal the map number one win for DMK. Nice job. And by the way, this is X4's map pick. So that's a big time comeback and a big time win for DMK. They're going to be moving on to their map now. Command coming up next. So real excellent job by DMK right here. As we're watching uh, Promises, he's out right mid again. He picked up a little boost right there. Tolo is in his base. Can they kill him? Oh, Paleface did. Nice cover. And there's another kill on a bat. And that's going to be a, another seal. Victory seal cap right there, and it's five to two, and looks to be like that's gonna be the final of map number one. So nice job by DMK keeping it together as they were down twice in this game, and they were attacking into three base defenders from the get-go. So that's a nice job by DMK. And a nice comeback right there. So we are gonna be Nansuko 3D didn't work out. Yeah, he's not happy about that. So though DMK is probably pretty happy they won that. No question about it. As I'm just going to grab the map 2. We're going to a different server. I'm also trying to get my laptop going. I did not have it going because I was not prepared today, like I said. But that was a good game that we just saw. No question about that one. Wait a minute. Okay, they are switching servers. I got confused because they like voted command. But I thought we we're switching servers and we are, I think. Yeah. Here we are in a command. Forty-six of you here at the moment. Thanks for tuning in, and I should remind you guys once more. Right after this match concludes, we're going to be casting a big-time Division One match between IFS and Deadline, two Frag powerhouse teams right there. So that's going to be coming up right after this. So make sure you tune in for that one. Not enough brick walls. Hey, look, man. Every stream has a different amount of brick walls. It all depends on what happens in the game. I can't just throw brick walls out of my ass, you know? The players have to make the brick walls happen. They gotta make the plays happen to bring the brick walls out. That's how she goes. You did get a brick wall, Roomba. Yes, you did. I think you were the only brick wall of the uh, map, actually. So, nice job on that one. Fuck sakes. I'm actually just going to remove this. Alright, what time is it? 2.30? Not bad. It's only going to be an issue if uh, X4 wins this and it goes to a third map. <laughs> In terms of the timing for the uh, IFS deadline match. Because that one is supposed to start in half an hour. That's right, our houses are ma made of paper. You are totally correct. I can't move. I could not move. Server only in. DMK server. I guess this is a NL server. Go DMK! 
DMK went in the first map. What's up, Uzi? My good man. So, lineup changes. We got Benno in there. He's in for Roomba. The rest of the... Oh, no. Evolution's in there, too. So, two different players coming in for DMK. Evolution, Benno in. Roomba and... Uh, Who is the other one who's out? I am drawing a blank. And also Grim Reaper's in for uh, X4, so that's the one switch for them. Looks like Anaconda is out for Grim Reaper. Nanstuko, thank you, that's the one. Nanstuko, Roomba, out for uh, Benno Evo. And Grim in for Anaconda, and the countdown is on, so let's get it underway right here, and we'll start it off with Mr. Benno. This is, by the way, DMK's map pick. So they're in a good position to win this match right now. They just got to take down their map right here. And I don't think X4 is going to be playing that uh, 3 base D from the get-go this time. That is not going to work out too well on command. I do not think. Let's spec Grim. We will get some Grim in for you. Don't you worry. Let's go to Grim right now, in fact. We can't wait any longer. Here is the Grimmer. Here is the Grimmer. Gets the double on the spawnage. Oh, look at the multi out of the Grim. He's going to pick it up. Try to leave out the left side. Nice little shot on the promises. Grim, nice sequence right here. He's made it left mid. He's picked up some cover as well. It's going to be killed by Evolution. Dead right there. Benno on the counter grab. Trying to leave it on the right side. That flag was never returned by DMK. Benno came into it. It's going to be laying right there. All they have to do is return it. It's going to be a cap. And they do. X4 is going to get it right there. And they have an early 1-0 lead in the first minute right here. Unfortunate start for DMK, and hey, we switched to Grim, and that was a nice job by Grim. He made that whole play happen. That was a total 1v9 play out of the Grim right there. Let's see what Benno's up to. He's got Paleface here with him. We're gonna switch it up to the left side, and here they come. They're gonna make it out left mid. Nice kill on the bat right here. One more on the fall bat, make it two, and that is surely gonna be returned, and it is by Senator. No question, Crux. No question on that one. Grim's first multi. By the way, I suppose we should uh, confirm the positions. It is bad and unreal. Is it bad and unreal indeed? They're getting annihilated. What? They're each... Uh, they both have under 40 efficiency on D, so they're getting destroyed, actually. But they have not allowed a cap yet. But that that's not a good sign. I, I would say that uh, DMK is going to have a... There's no way that DMK is not going to be capping uh, if those D numbers stay like that. That is that is for sure. We're going to watch Paleface. Nice little switch here up to the right side. Bat was there, though. And the D, by the way, for uh, DMK is Evolution. And uh, er Eric's had quite a slow start. 36 efficiency, only 7 frags. Evolution's uh, had a decent start, though. And the two defenders for X4 are both still under 40 efficiency. So they are just getting run over right now by DMK. And we're going to watch uh, Paleface right now. Oh, he's trying to make the switch to left. They're doing this a lot. Trying to switch up their sides out of the flag room. But even though, like I say, it's even though X4 is winning at the moment, uh, I feel like it's just inevitable that DMK is going to be bringing this back. Because their attackers just seem to be just bowling through the defenders of X4. And it's just inevitable that they're going to cap. That's what it feels like to me. And they're grabbing like crazy, too. Ben already up to four. Three for Pale, two for Promises. And look on the other side. You only got one for Grim, one for Tolo. And this is this guy's fourth right here, Senator. He died straight away, so... Despite X4 being up, I really feel like uh, DMK is going to end up winning this uh, map right here. The momentum feels uh, vastly in DMK's favor. So we'll see if it ends up playing out that way. Why no PG spectator overlay? Because I don't fucking like it. Grim is going to pick that one up. He's going to switch it up to inner middle. Yeah, I just don't like it, man. Uh, I think it's unnecessary and distracting. 
for me. I'm always checking on stats for you guys anyway. Uh, it's, don't need it. Paleface, he's going to try to leave out right. Grim was there in the fallback, though. Let's uh, watch some Grim again. It's been a little bit, hasn't it, since we... I guess we should watch Benno first. He's going to stall. You did see Pale there on the left side, but is Benno not going to go to him? He is now. Oh, Tolo Spawner. He still has Pale with him, or Promises, rather. And it was dropped on that inner. Can they pick it up? No. Let's get... We're never going to get a chance to get to Grim because DMK is grabbing so much. Uh, here he is. Back on the Grim. Every time we watch him, he makes something happen. And here he comes with a grab right here. Three on the fallback this time, though. Let's have a look at Grim's numbers. 27 frags, two grabs. And, of course, he did assist on the X4 cap. It was a nice play and nice little grab out of him right here. Not going to make it very far this time, though. Six, five, and four, the grab numbers for DMK already. Compared to six, one, and three for X4. Let's see if the efficiencies have come up for X4 defenders yet. They have very slightly. Bad is at 42 efficiency now, and Unreal's at 43. So they're not in the 30s anymore, but they are still getting destroyed by DMK's attackers right now. And we're going to see DMK get a flight to their base right here. Paleface on the left side looks to be sealed, and there you have it. Like I said, it's just, you can't have both of your defenders 40 efficiency or below. It's just inevitable that the other team is going to cap. I mean, they've been just, they've been getting run over, man. And I just, uh, it certainly looked like it was only a matter of time before DMK brought it back. And they have done it. 14 and a half minutes left. Game all tied now. Let's have a quick look at Evolution's defense as center picked, a, picked up a grab right there against them. Guess he's on this uh, what side is he playing on the right side it would appear. Yeah, Yo's on the left. Evolution moving all, moving around a lot between the sides. And far back in the flag room is a pretty good way to do it. Evolution having a pretty good start and by the way Yo had picked it up last time. We checked in on Yo's D numbers. He was uh, having a really slow start, but he's brought it back. He's up uh, 28 frags, and he's over 50 efficiency now. It's, oh, this is a big play out of Beto. Three cover right here. Promises does pick that one up, but oh, Senator. They were unable to take Senator down. That was looking like a promising play for DMK, but unable to convert right there. Nice little try. Beto, he's going to grab freely right now. Let's switch back to the left side. Unreal was there, though. And let's check in with uh, old Grimmy once more here. Tolo does have the flag. He's trying to go out right. Promises did pick up a kill there. Wasn't returned. Is now. And in fact, Senator was waiting to cherry that one. Tried to leave straight left. Yo killed him. In fact, uh, that was not returned though. It's still laying on the other left. And Bat came all the way from D to pick that up. What a play in a bat. Grim uh, picked it up once more. And yeah, Senator still has it actually. They're another base on the left side. Evolution picked up a counter grab, but died immediately. Unreal's going to kill him. Then another base on the left side. Grim Reaper has it now. And X4 is going to cap it, and uh, that was all Bat right there. Bat made the kill from his side on the outer to prevent the flag from being returned, and he ran all the way to the other side of the map and picked it up. That was a really aggressive play from defense out of Bat, and it worked out for them. Nice job, and we're going to see Tolo into his base, and we actually have a flag standoff right here. Benno has X4's flag. If Tolo just died, Promises got a double, and that's a big return right there on a Promises. And DMK, they brought it right back, and they're going to try to counter again right here on the left side. There was a couple of cover there, but I guess the, they did both die, unable to get that one. So back and forth game we have right here. I stew, I stew, I still do uh, favor DMK to win this map uh, just based on how things are looking, but uh, anything can happen. Senator's having one hell of a game. 76 kills uh, tw and 12 grabs, and he's been in on both caps, so Senator is uh, carrying the load here for X4. He's having, uh, let's watch him. That is why uh, X4 is in this command right now. I feel it's this guy. Senator uh, is, uh, wow, what a game. He's on pace for, he's on pace for near 200 frags. I, I doubt he'll end up 
uh, with that, but at the moment he's on pace for about 190 frags. So that's pretty insane. See if he can keep that up. His, uh, we see Paleface, he's actually made out right mid. He did have one with him. Tolo killed both of them. Promises went down. And another flag for DMK mid right there. Unable to get it back to their, their uh, base this time though. We should check in with Senator again. His numbers are pretty insane right now actually. This is the Senator of old we're seeing right here with these numbers. Slow down a bit, so I guess he's on about a... He's on pace at the moment for about 170 frags, which is still insane for command. Uh, promises, he actually dropped it right mid. Benno did pick that one up on the other side right there. Ah, uh, tall little big return though. DMK, they, they've had so many flags mid, it's actually insane. Way more flags mid than X4 has. But they've been unable to uh, get the covers when they need it. And some clutch returns coming out of X4 right here. No question about that. Pretty close uh, match. We got still 2-2. Two -two. Just past the midway mark of the map. Come Senator. This guy's having a hell of a game. Picked up a double kill right there. And he's going to leave the base on the left side. Kind of slowly coming across mid right here. He did have one with him. Tolo, who did pick that up. There's another base on the left side right here. Evolution goes down. And here comes Tolo. X4 looking to take the lead back. And they do score it. And it's 3-2 for X4 again. And... Yeah, this guy here, Senator, is just carrying this game. And he's got another flag out left mid right here. Tolo picked up a, a multi-kill cover by Tolo right there. And they're going to make it a two-cap advantage right now. And there you have it. 4-2 to two instantly right there for X4. And my god, Tolo and uh, Senator are just doing work on attack. Grim's got decent frag numbers, but he only has four grabs. Senator's just doing everything. Rough stuff for, uh, for Mr. Uh, Senator, or from Senator. Rough stuff for uh, DMK right here. I feel like they've actually played a good game. And yeah, we can watch some more Senator for sure. He is uh, pretty magical right now, that is for sure. Watch him attacking in here onto the right side. Not going to get past Yo this time. And by the way... The X4 defenders have finally gotten it together. I talked about how their 40 efficiency that is low is in the 30s, and they are over 50 now. Well, at least uh, Bad is at 56, Unreal is at 47, so that is not good for DMK. The defenders have finally gotten it together for X4, and it is X4 with a two-cap lead now, so things all of a sudden looking real good for X4 to force a uh, decider map, which would be on Grudge, by the way. Which, that one would be a tough one to call it as well, that is for sure. So it's kind of interesting, uh... DMK winning Klondike, which was X4's map pick, and it looks like X4 might win Command, which was DMK's map pick, so... Team's doing better on uh, the other team's pick, it would appear, in this match. Senator, nice uh, multi right there, trying to leave it on the left side. Does pick up the ultra, and the monster kill run out of Senator right here. On the left side mid, Senator's just ridiculous in this map right now. It was dropped left. Oh, that's a massive return out of promises. Hey, what's up, Nordog? I'm doing well, sir. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Hope you're doing well. I'm a little hungover, but uh, we're doing okay. See what Promises is up to. He's trying to leave it on the right side. Man, he got caught up on the uh, wall a bit there. Kind of hurt Promises. What are the grab numbers looking like? Senator was 17. Grim Reaper 5. Total 4. So Senator's literally doing everything for X4 right now. This guy Promises has 10. Benno 10 and uh, Paleface with 8. So a lot more grabbing overall for DMK. But Senator is like solo winning this map right now, I feel. He is having a heck of a game. True. Grimmer gets caught with the wall, but does pick up a kill on a yo briefly, and we're just going to go back to Senator. Let's just keep watching Senator. 
he is just dragging his team to a, a victory right now. Grim's frag numbers are quite high, quite good as well. But it is Senator who's doing everything. He's got all the grabs. He's been in on all four caps. He's uh, just a beast right now. <laughs> just a beast, no question. I need to try to save my voice a bit here. I really was hoping this would not go to a tiebreaker map, I'm not going to lie. I got, I got a cash IFS deadline right after this, so I kind of I have to try to save my voice a bit for that one. And it looks like this match is going to go the distance. Unless DMK can bring it back. They do still have time. They're down to just over 5 minutes left. It is command, so... DMK definitely can bring it back. But, uh... It's not looking great at the moment. The momentum totally shifted towards X4 here. And it looks like Evolution, in fact, is grabbing. They're running four attack right now. DMK is going to make it out right mid here. He does have, I believe, Promises with him. Oh, Pale, rather. He picked it up. Grim Reaper also trying to make it out right mid. He's got three on him. That's not going to go anywhere. Let me check. It looks... I want to see if uh, DMK is actually running four attack already. We'll watch Senator first. He's trying to leave it on the left, left side. One spawn on Promises. Okay, let's quickly check if we're able to. Um, yeah, Evolution is definitely attacking now. And so what, is it Yo on solo D or did someone switch with Evolution? I think Yo is solo D right now and it looks like it might be another cap. Unless Promises can get out and he couldn't. That flag's going to be dropped on the left side of uh, X4 there. Can they pick it up? That will definitely seal the win if they convert this. Senator has it. Oh, pal! That's a brick fucking wall play out of the pale right there. He's hiding in the flag room, and that's a massive save by pale. That does keep DMK's hopes alive here on command. They needed that save. If they if X4 converts that one, it is surely all over. So that's a big time save out of pale right there. And yeah, it is definitely yo on solo D. So interesting. So uh, DMK is running for attack. So that should give them a chance. If Yo can uh, hang on to that defense, it's going to be tough. Here comes Senator. He does have uh, one with him total, I believe. Nice. What the hell? Uh, he's left mid. He did drop a left mid, and there was one there. Tolo, yeah, he did pick that one up. Onto their side left. Bit of a strange shot coming out left there. Out of the Senator, but uh, that was a nice try. And here he comes again. He's in the flag room. Let's pick up a double right there. And a multi make it. He's just going to sit here on the left side. He oh, both legs are right there. He was waiting for the other flanker. Yo has it. Into his base on the left side. They did return that. Beno did. One on one. They are going to pick up that kill. Tolo's waiting the flanker, but he had no idea. Oh, Tolo thought it was coming in the other side. He was looking the wrong way. And that's a massive cap for DMK. They're only down one now. DMK trying to bring it back. And that was a nice sequence. So Senator trying to wait for that flag carrier. They switched it to inner and they actually swapped sides. Tolo was waiting the flag but he was not looking the right direction. So we're gonna watch Tolo try to counter here on the left side. One coming at him from behind. We'll see if he can know uh, two from inner as well. So two minutes left. DMK, they're only down one now. They surely can come back. They gotta keep that pressure on. Promises is trying to do that here. Trying to leave out right mid. There is one who spawned him. He does get a big kill on the bat right there. Oh, Senator came in from behind. Benno picks it up, though. They're still in their base on the right side here. DMK trying to tie the game right now. Oh, and it looks like they're going to. Benno. Beautiful pickup out of Benno right there. The teamwork was on point for DMK. And they have done it. Yo held the solo D. And DMK has come back from 4-2 down to tie the game. Only a minute and a half left. That's big time stuff out of DMK right there. And they are right back in it now. 
And by the way, what is the deal with the point system? If DMK draws here, do, do they win the match? Is it still set up that way or what? But it looks like X4 might take the lead right back. They've made it to their base on the left side. Oh, and they do. That's got to feel bad for DMK right when they make that beautiful comeback. They are down again and there's only a minute left. So that's kind of unfortunate for DMK right there. So they're going to have to send everyone now, I feel. Maybe they'll just keep Yo on Solo D again. But they do not have much time to work with right here. Only 45 seconds right now. Unfortunate stuff. I do you think a draw would have just won uh, DMK the match, right? Since they won the first match? Thirty seconds left, and there's a lot of defense right now for X4. A lot of defense right here. They are trying to force Grudge the decider map, and of course, my luck, it is going to go to a decider map that is exactly what I did not want. It's going to be a time like the IFS match will start. In I don't know what I'm going to do here. I'm going to need word as we see X4. I need word from. Uh, someone involved with the uh, IFS deadline match because it I that's the main match I wanted to cast this week I agreed to cast this match to help out but that IFS match is supposed to start in five minutes and I'm not gonna miss that match to cast the tiebreaker of this I'm sorry so if someone can from either of those teams can tell me they're willing to wait for this tiebreaker map to end and wait for me to get in to cast them. Cool. But uh, if not, I'm probably just going to have to bounce out of this match. I don't know. Is there anyone from uh, IFS or Deadline in this uh, stream right now? You could confirm if you guys can wait for this uh, tiebreaker map here to happen. That would be good. Let me check Discord. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here. I'm trying to figure out if I'm able to cast this uh, tiebreaker map or not. Is any why does no one respond, man? Fucking Christ. Is Jerome online? I'm just talking to Jerome right now.
Yeah, well, 2115, that's fucking uh, cutting it pretty close, man. That's not really giving me much time at all. That's literally like this tiebreaker map ends and they start. Like after this map ends, I have to take my stream down for a second. I've got to change it for separate VODs and I got to change the info and all that shit. Uh, so, you know. All right, we're going to cast the tiebreaker. We're going to try to. Oh, can you water cater? I would actually prefer that because I'm just, I'm just going to have killing my voice anyway. All right, maybe we'll do that. <laughs> yeah, I bet it will be. All right, guys. So that's the plan. So sorry, we just got time crunched here. Totally. Um, my stream is going to go down for a minute uh, and then it'll be back up and we're going to cast IFS versus Deadline. Uh, if you guys want to head over to Water Caters, if you guys want to see the tiebreaker map of this X4 DMK match, just head on over to Water Caters stream and that's where uh, you'll find that. So my stream's gonna go down for uh, a minute here and it'll be back up. I'll be right back. And there's the link to Cater's stream for you there. So head on there if you want the tiebreaker. Otherwise, uh, I will be back up shortly with IFS Deadline. <laughs> 